Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing another episode in my Transforming Village series where I'm transforming a Minecraft village into a Japanese style one. So today's video, I will be transforming the butcher shop, but let's get started. So the first thing you want to be doing is removing all these fence posts and removing this block of grass back here. We will need it at normal level. Now that that is done, just like all my other structures, we're going to go ahead and remove the corners and replace it with the dark oak logs and then also do the bottom two dark oak logs as well. We will only be doing this around the sides of the house in the back though and not the front as we are going to have an open front. We're going to now remove the front of the house. I have already made a few changes, so I did go ahead and change the floor to dark oak. The reason I did this is that because unlike our other shops, which I did the birch to replicate to tummy, because this is a butcher shop, this is more of a active working environment. There'll be people chopping meat and things like that. So I have gone with the dark oak to kind of replicate like a working shop. But the next thing we're going to do quickly is just replace all our walls here with the bone block and right up to the roof as well in these little triangle bits. You then just want to go on the inside and just replace any areas that are still showing as well. Now to cover up the top here, we're just going to put a dark oak staircase upside down and then fill in the inside bits here with some slabs just to have a roof. And we're going to remove this bit at the front and we'll also remove the same section at the back. Eventually. But I'm going to go ahead now and do my roof. I will actually speed up through this, but it's exactly like all my other house structures. You just want to replace it. There we go. And now we'll work on a few of the finer details. So the first thing we're going to do is make the little triangle section there. So we're going to close it off with the slabs. And then one level lower, we'll be making our overhang. For the front though, because we want to have, I'm going to put some like hanging flags, banners at the front. So we're actually going to make this one higher and we'll add a different roof detail to the front just to add some more detail since we can't have a overhang like that. But I'll do that a little bit after. You also just want to make sure on your corners as well that you are replacing them and having your little point up bit. But obviously on the front you can't do that because we have our overhang like I have. So to make some details, what we're going to do, this level here, so just where you've got the slab hiding, so you want to be careful about that. We're going to do some bone blocks in a little triangle, just like I've done on some of my other structures in this village build. And we're just going to make this little kind of overhang at the front. This adds a nice detail that takes away from the, like the front of the shop having a extra kind of flat looking overhang. And it's just like, it's kind of like a distraction for that. So I'm just kind of smoothing out the triangle to make it look quite nice. But I think that's a nice detail to make up for the fact that you do have a very flat overhang at the front there. And we're going to add our roof details now. So like my other buildings where the little white triangles we have are, you just want to remove those roof blocks and replace them with full stone brick blocks and then put slabs on top. The next thing we're going to do is worry about our banner. So you can't really hang it like this on a little slab because it hangs down too low, which you will see in a second. I might go for the dark green today, but you can see that's hanging way too low. So what we're going to do, you can't remove, a, we're going to remove this slab here. And then you can see you got this nice little overhang. So I don't think it's too much of an issue having it like one little open roof bit there. I don't think it looks too bad, especially from the front you get that nice banner. It's only when you look up on the inside that you can see the roof, so I'm okay with that. So 
So for some more details now, because this is a butcher shop and from the research that I have done into shops in like the Edo period in old style Japan, typically shops like this had like little stands at the front where they would have like the meat that you could buy and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and make some crates. So to do this the way I like to do it is I put a oak plank like block down the bottom and then I surround that with trapdoors and it gets this really cool effect of being like a little kind of like crate thing going on there without having to use a chest because you are going to have the pathway block turn into dirt by putting trapdoors. I'm just going around and making my pathway block here a little bit more quirky looking like it's been used a bit more which might make sense when you're working with raw meat and there's a lot of foot traffic around the store like this. You might have blood on the ground or like water from working in a butcher shop back in these times so it might be more muddy. So to fix that I've just put coarse dirt and kind of made the path a bit more rusticy looking. And then on our back door here I've got just a dark oak staircase and I'm using the acacia door again because I like the little kind of look that it has. But for the back area here I'm going to replicate what we had before but just make it a little bit different and turn it into a pigsty. So all I'm doing here is using dark oak fence posts and I'm simply just making the same kind of shape as I as you, you like had originally just done on the ground level and at the back section here I'm completely going three blocks high the whole way around with the fence posts to kind of make in like a like caged and stable look. I think it looks quite rustic-y. I will fill it in a little bit more in a second because I think it looks quite nice. You could keep some gaps like this but I think it looks quite cool having it the whole way around and I think it's got a nice kind of oriental feel to it. To then make a cover I've just gone three blocks up the top there with the slabs of the dark oak and then down the bottom here we're going to make a mud looking effect for our little piggies so I'm going to use a mix of the brown concrete powder but you just want to be careful about rain with that one so you probably want to be keeping it in only the undercover area. I'm also going to use the coarse dirt and also the podsel and this will make a really nice kind of mud sty effect. You could also throw in some brown wool or even some uh, brown concrete if you really want to go to that little bit of extra detail. So here's a few little piggies in our little area at the back here and I'm going to make a little water trowel so I'm just going to put some water on the ground but see how it changes so that's what I was saying about the concrete powder so you just want to be careful about what you do there. Now I have done pigs because in Japan they do eat a lot of pork and they did have pigs back then I believe. You could also do cows like cattle or chickens as well they would probably be appropriate. I've just finished off the area with a few little grass leaves and now we are done. So we're going to focus on the inside of the house now, of our butcher shop. So I'm going to try and give the same feel of the library. So we're going to have a little counter here with a little cushion for a seat. I'm not going to use the dark oak like I did for my other structures because it blends in too much. So we are going to use the spruce. And then we're going to grab some stone slabs and make a like little countertop back here. This is because I think if you're a butcher you'd want quite a sturdy hard workspace and it kind of matches the stone blocks that you do originally have in a butcher shop. So we've got that back there. For some extra added detail I'm going to place some little redstone wire around. Kind of looks like blood splatters so I think it's quite cool and it gives that effect. And we're also going to do the same on the outside here as well. Just a couple little blood splatters because food and butcher shops would have been a little bit but like messier back then. And finally some torches for light. You could also add some pictures maybe like the the kebab type picture could be appropriate. Just ones like that could be nice as well if you wanted them. Extra effort you could also add some signs with maybe prices of meat that you're selling or if you have a display system you could put some meat on display as well. 
But there we go. So there is how to transform a Minecraft village butcher shop into a Japanese salon. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and like always guys. Thank you so so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.